Yo, how y'all doing? Uh, so, Troublemaker here. Basically, I just finished watching the end of WWE Monday Night Raw. And I basically just wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight, a little bit of, you know, what I think um, about it. Sort of a small review. I only started watching it from 10 p.m. Eastern Time and forward. Um, first off, I just want to get right off the bat. Good job, Randy Orton. You know, kudos to you. You definitely coming back up after being attacked and ambushed. Showing people, you know, you're about the competition, but you're also not to be messed with, you know. So Seth Rollins had that RKO coming, bam, right through the announce table. Um, okay, so when I started watching Raw, uh, I believe, uh, you know what, it just, oh, I believe uh, I saw the New Day and whatever um, versus uh, who the hell did they face? The New Day. Mm, oh, no, 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 I remember now. Okay, well, the New Day had a match, yes, but I clearly don't remember who they faced, but I remember some bits and pieces about Raw. Um, so, Rusev was coming down to the ring, and, uh, pr and uh, you know, he faced uh, Curtis Axel, Curtis, Ma or Axel Mania. You know, so Axel Mania is running wild. I really like Curtis Axel's ambition. You know, he's really taking that character seriously and pushing and striving to make it flow. So hopefully it works out for him. Um, Rusev, like, squashed him, you know, in a hot minute. So, bam, that was done. And then John Cena came out and pretty much hit Rusev with the STF and, and would not let go until Lana took the microphone and said, Okay, Cena, we're going to give you, you know, the U.S. Championship WrestleMania match that you wanted. And then Cena let go. However... You know, Rusev had some pretty rude things to say about America, you know, prior to that transpiring, so it was pretty intense. Um, okay, so a tag team match uh, that I believe happened, I'm just trying to honestly think, because it was like a couple, it was weird. Um, okay, so I believe it was New Day versus uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, and New Day actually picked up the victory. Now, what uh, what I found really interesting about this Monday Night Raw is that um, live on the you know the backstage segments weren't really popping that much. So like live right on the stream, right on Monday Night Raw, once one match was done, the other the, the new competitors just came out like bam out of nowhere. It was like you know they didn't have much time to kill, so they just they just started coming down like okay we're starting the next match like ASAP. So it was pretty nuts. Um, I'm not used to that, so I texted my boy Sticky, I said, yo, this is, Raw's kind of weird tonight, you know, um, so pretty much, uh, you know, New Day picking up a victory and whatnot, but I honestly hope that they cut more promos and that they come through and they make a bigger impact, because we know them as, like, solo stars and stuff, but I want them to make a more of an impact as a stable, you know, so interrupt people, you know, like, shed spread the good new day light you know um okay so now uh and then cameron sorry naomi versus um our home t our home girl here natalia uh i missed the whole match you know because i had to use the washroom so um ironically that's when you're watching the wwe pay-per-views in the, in the movie theaters the diva match comes on that's what they call the bathroom break match i found it i found it really rude so i found it really ironic that that actually transpired tonight um but i believe that naomi won because i had the uh, volume up um yeah so that was cool even though i didn't really see it and i kind of like to watch the divas matches but okay then uh it was weird it was like it was like the Usos versus Los Matadores or something. I don't really know what transpired in that. I sort of forget. You know. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to stay away from that. I don't know. I was distracted because my cell phone kept going off and stuff. And, and then eventually it died, so I paid more attention. And then Bray Wyatt had cut a promo around the 10 o'clock hour. So the third hour of Raw the, right near the beginning. And then he actually cut, you know, a nice... Uh, skit in the middle of the ring. It was awesome. Um, he called the Undertaker out. He had the urn and everything, and then the lights cut, 
and like he opened the urn, okay? He opened the urn, the lights cut. No, open the urn, nothing happened. Fog started coming out, lights cut, lightning hit the ring, and then the bell tolled like two more times. Bam! There was Bray Wyatt's rocking chair. And then bam, it got set on fire. And Bray was like sort of in between laughing and crying and just feeling a whole lot of crazy emotions. And he was sort of just curled up by the turnbuckle a little bit, but you know, sort of embracing what was happening. So I think it's going to be a pretty dark match. And you heard Undertaker's voice, man. He said, Undertaker said, man, rest. Or, sorry. Uh, he said, you will rest in peace. You know, so yeah, that's, that's pretty intense. So that's going to be a crazy match at WrestleMania. And then finally, you had the two-on-one handicap match with Randy Orton and Seth Rollins versus... Roman Reigns and uh, J and J Security. They got kicked out earlier. They had trust issues with Orton. Um, Orton, screwed, uh, you know, basically screwed over Seth, gave him the finger and everything. And then Roman Reigns took advantage, spared the man, picked up the victory, and Randy Orton went rampant, beat the man up, hit him with a chair, hit him with a DDT, you know, um, right on. So, so basically. The usual one where he has the po opponent hanging in between the middle ropes. So he had the, he had Seth hanging over the barricade and smacked him with a DDT like that. And then picked him up and laid out an RKO right on the, through the announce table. So, yeah, Seth's in a world of hurt. <laughs> you know, and um, Orton, he's done with the authority, at least it presumes so. So it's, that's pretty intense right there. And, um, yeah, so that that was pretty much, you know, my quick recap of Bunny Night Raw. The best segment I saw was the Bray Taker. That's what I watch it for mainly, but it's my favorite part. Um, it was really funny because JBL said uh, Randy Orton looked into his crystal ball or something. So I tweeted JBL, yo, a flaming chair and hashtag Viper Alert. Who saw that in their hashtag crystal ball and then at JBL? So it was hilarious. Um, WrestleMania is shaping up to be pretty dope, you know. Um, I'll bring you a predictions video later. I guess, you know, I'm looking forward to the Bray Taker match the most, and then I'm also looking forward to that uh, ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship, and because uh, it's going to feature tons of people, and it's already looking like a really funny match with R Truth, Luke Harper, you know, um, Wade Barrett. Dolph Ziggler, I believe Stardust is going to try to enter, so it's going to be a pretty intense match, and others, obviously. So, um, yeah, I kind of missed the Wiz Khalifa performance, I am upset about that, but, you know, sometimes you can't see it all. And, uh, yeah, so that's my take on what I saw on Monday Night Raw. Thank you guys for watching, and I am Troublemaker, and I'm out this piece.